Now at 10, a big change is coming to the Texas Medical Center. Shriners Hospital for Children is closing its doors and merging with its location in Galveston. Lauren Tellerico is live in the Med Center with what the hospital is saying and what this means for families, Lauren. Well, guys, this closing came as a bit of a surprise to everyone. We were tipped off by a concerned mother who asked us to get some answers. Do you like cameras, Axel? This curious nine year old Katie boy named Axel will always have extra challenges. He came out purple with a big head. Nobody knew like what was wrong. Doctors at the Shriners Hospital for Children diagnosed him with a very rare genetic disorder. Macrocephaly, capillary malformation. It can cause cognitive delays, autism, and orthopedic impairments. Everything inside and out the body, it's larger on the right side. It's been scary for his mom, Tani Fernandez, but she has felt great comfort from the Med Center Shriners who is studying Axel. You can tell they care, and actually I've seen the same doctors and nurses, which is very rare. But yesterday, Tani says their longtime doctor dropped a bombshell. The hospital was closing, and she was referred to another doctor at another hospital. I felt blindsided. To me, the worst part of the appointment yesterday was that I was just given this information and then left to fend for myself. Hey, so you reached out to Shriners who confirmed yes, the med center location will close sometime next year and consolidate in Galveston. One reason is to make services more efficient for patients who shuttle back and forth between the hospitals. Shriner says they hope to bring as many of their current team as possible and that all services offered in the med center will be offered in Galveston. I believe it's a big deal, you know, and, and people deserve to know. As for what will become of this building once Shriners moves out, they just don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Mia.